Gary Winogrand was a true poet of photography, a true poet of American life. He took this genre of so-called street photography and turned it on its head and made it something new. He developed ways of photographing that left it all very confusing to people he was photographing as to whether or not he had actually taken the picture. Winogrand was controversial and even remains so. Everyone thinks there's something about an eye. Gary was an athlete. Because he had a Bronx accent, and there are stories about him getting into fist fights, and so there was a sense that he was, you know, this tough guy New Yorker. You become an artist despite, not because. I don't care what the situation is, who the person is. You've got to be tough and aggressive, and, and it may not look it, but you better be. Winogrand's career formed a part of a dramatic transition in the world of photography, away from journalism and toward the world of the fine arts. One of the things I love about Winogrand is the dance. If you look at a Winogrand picture, in a lot of the photographs, he gets the legs. Look at the dance here. Look at the dance here. Dancing. Everyone's dancing. Sometimes we refer to him as sort of the first digital photographer, in the sense that he really shot without regard to the economy of film. One of the things that's always really fascinated me about him is that he died with thousands of rolls of undeveloped film. What could that be? Holy moly. What a strange journey Gary took us on.